Hey, Melissa, great news. I just scored a promotion. Congratulations, Jay. So when did this happen? It didn't, but it will. I just have to do a little favor for my boss. Jay, there are laws to protect you. <laughs> Not that kind of favor. I have to watch his cabin and his dog for the weekend, maybe a little light snow shovel. Oh, so you're house-sitting. It's nice to see that college degree is paying off. Oh, Mr. Barris is very fanatical about this cabin. This is a serious vote of confidence. And I was figuring maybe you could come up this weekend and we'd have a little fun. Oh, Jay, you know, now that we're just friends, um, I don't think we should put ourselves in romantic situations. But I'm not being romantic. I want you to help me shovel. <laughs> that number excuse me who are you calling back jay jay every time i see melissa walk away from you i want to cry where did you come from I mean, really if two people ever belong together it's you and melissa hey, well thanks yeah. it hurts mm -hmm. but life goes on i agree with you i, I do mind if i ask her out <laughs> you know marcus i have this little rule with my friends they don't date my ex-girlfriends they don't Oh, I respect that. I do, really. And the next time I run into one of your friends, I'm going to let them know. Go ahead. Ask her. She'll only turn you down. You see, I have this little saying. Once you've had Jay, there's no other way. I like that. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. yeah I got that, others. That's cute. <laughs> hey, Melissa, it's Marcus. Listen, I want to ask you out to dinner, but uh, Jay says he ruined you for other men. I, I don't... Yeah, he's here now. Jay! Did you just say that? It sounded a lot better when it rhymed. So, what's it gonna be, Melissa? I'm offering you a Saturday night. Lord knows I don't have many of those open. <laughs> How many times I have to tell you, man? She's not going out with you. Oh, really, Jay? And when did you become my social secretary? Marcus? Hmm. I'd be happy to go out with you. I can't believe she's going out with you. Jay, Jay. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. <laughs> Why Melissa would want to go out with that slick Porsche driving wannabe glamour boy? I love Porsches. <laughs> mm. What is he doing in there? He's trying to squeeze into a pair of his old ski pants. He's been at it since five this morning. Gordo, have you tried butter yet? On everything he eats, that's what got him into this mess. Well, they still fit. <laughs> a little snug around the boys, but nice. <laughs> Jay, you know what? Thanks for inviting us up this weekend. I think it'll be fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not about fun, okay? This is all about house city. We will go to Mr. Barris's home, and we will sit. And why are we going with you again? Because Melissa can't go. The house is in the woods, and that Blair Witch Project really freaked me out. <laughs> Marcus, what are you doing here? I work weekends for the fashion police. And you, counselor, have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Actually, I, uh, I memoed you. We're working this weekend. Until I finish the Abercrombie case, I can't open the Melissa briefs. <laughs> okay, that was unnecessary. Gordon, can I see you in my office, please? Brainstorm. If I can get Marcus to come up to the cabin this weekend, he can't go out with Melissa. Oh, excellent plan. Yeah, it Sly, is. Sly, mm -hmm. devious, shrewd. Do you have any strategies for me on that Abercrombie case? Let me get back to you on that one. You know, Marcus, we're all going to a cabin on the lake for the weekend. You might want to come up there and join us and do your work there. The change of scenery might help stimulate the brain cells. It's going to be fun. I thought fun wasn't permitted. That's indoors. Outdoors, it'll be a festival of fun. Yeah, a lake in the winter. Mm -hmm. That sounds interesting. Yeah. See if I can arrange some things. <laughs> so... How do you like my plan so far? Oh, it's flawless. Until Monday. What are you going to do then? Oh, you know guys like Marcus. By then, he'll have found someone else. Yeah. <laughs>
Jerry, get over here. <laughs> This man really knows how to live oh. and kill. I love this place. It's like Bonanza. Oh. Except for the moose head. No, no, I'm, I'm not impressed. When you change those pants, you can have an opinion about something. <laughs> oh, my God. A Fabergé egg. I love these. Wow. Uh, Gordon, 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 Gordon. Be careful with that, OK? You're playing with my career. Do you have any idea how much that's worth? Well, sure I do. It's a call Fabergé egg. Probably from the court of Nicholas in Alexandra, circa 1890. It's worth, well, I would guess, around $60,000. Okay. And it's exactly the same shape as a peewee football. Sherry, go along. Oh, go, 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 go. I'm kidding. Just don't touch that egg. <laughs> hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Tabitha. I'm Mr. Barris's most prized possession. I was fed at five. Walk me at seven. Oh, I'll take care of her. We're on the same schedule. Come on, come on. Brush me extensively and sing me to sleep? Just like Gordon. Hey, that's Marcus. Tell me how easy this was. Tricking him into coming all the way up here so he wouldn't be able to get his hands on... Melissa. Jay! How come you brought Melissa? I thought you came up here to work on your case. Oh, Jay, come on. Now, you know Marcus Wentworth doesn't break dates. Just wouldn't be fair to the ladies. <laughs> well, Marcus, why didn't you tell me we were coming here? Well, we're only going to be working for an hour. Then it's just you and me. Jay, I, I had no idea. I thought Marcus and I were just going tobogganing. We're going to stay at the Snow Goose Lodge, where every room comes with a heart-shaped jacuzzi. <laughs> oh, and the uh, fancy chocolate on the pillow? That'll be me. Yeah. Uh, we should talk. Just give me a second. <laughs> Sherry, what do you think you're doing with that fireplace? Uh, starting a fire? <laughs> with my boss's wood? I don't think so. You move nothing. If I don't return this house exactly the way it was entrusted to me, I'm going to end up on that wall. <laughs> Jay, I'm so sorry about this. I'll bet you are. You're sorry I caught you popping up to the snow goose for a little quickie. <laughs> Excuse me? that it's any of your business, but Marcus and I have separate rooms. Uh, listen, Jay, I understand this is a very awkward situation for you. I just want you to know it. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Jay, if this bothers you that Marcus and I are dating, then you should just say so. Oh, no, you're a free agent. Truth is, you guys actually make a cute couple, even if you are dating outside your species. <laughs> for your information, Marcus happens to be very charming. Oh, really? Yes. And which one of his cheesy lines did you find so charming? Was it, hey, baby, gaze into my deep brown eyes? Was it that one? Oh, actually, they're, uh, they're chestnut. <laughs> Who trapes mud all over the clean floors? Sherry, I want those boots off this minute. Jay, my feet are freezing. Sherry, those boots are coming off one way or another. <laughs> Would you look at Melissa and Marcus out there laughing, frolicking in the snow? Having fun. <laughs> Parading around with Marcus just to make me jealous. You know, two can play this game. Oh, yeah? Well, where are you going to find a guy as good-looking as Marcus at this hour? I'm going to call Blair Owens a girl. Blair Owens, that snob? She's not a snob. She just thinks that poor people shouldn't be allowed to vote. <laughs> the point is, she's gorgeous. And we'll make a much cuter couple than Marcus and Melissa. <laughs> hey, you two, take off those shoes right now. Ooh. I like where this is headed. You keep Marcus busy while I call Blair. Yeah, watch me operate that. Yeah, you operate. So, uh, Marcus, shouldn't we be getting to work? Uh, actually, Counselor, I think we have the case under control. Right, right. We're gonna take that Abercrombie woman for every cent she's got. What are you talking about? We represent that Abercrombie woman. Well, this could take a while. I'll go make some popcorn. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you soon. All right. Drive carefully. Right. Ta-ta. <laughs> ah, Melissa, I think it's only fair to warn you that a lady friend of mine will be stopping by just in case that makes you feel ill at ease. <laughs> Jay, I realize that I've put you in a position where you might feel you have to strike back, and I'm sorry. Not striking back. I have a date. Deal with it. All right, Jay. <laughs> hey, don't try to be reasonable with me. 
I don't want you to worry about a thing. I found a fire extinguisher, and everything's almost under control. <laughs> whoa, 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 Gordo! Oh, there's a fire! There's really a fire! Get Sherry, open the door! What? <coughs> hey, whoa! Hey, don't let her out! Don't let her out! Oh, man, she's gone! She's what? gone! Oh, you got to let her go! She's just a speck. I bet she went to go get help. <laughs> She's gone! You have any idea what my boss is gonna do to me? <sighs> I'm a dead man. All right, Gordon. I want you to go out there, and I want you to find that dog, okay? The future of my career depends on it. All right, let's go, let's go. Jay, we can't send him out there. It's blizzard conditions. Sherry, God built Gordon for blizzard conditions. He's right. Any shift of the wind will snap Jay's little body like a twig. Godspeed, my friend. Don't go! Shh! Honey, if I die, there's a bank book behind the bathroom radiator. Well... But if I live... We never had this conversation. Jay, I hope your career is worth my husband's safety. You and me both, sister. Jay. Jay, you've got enough on your plate without me and Marcus being here. We're gonna go. Oh. Hello? Blair! Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Oh, you're almost here. That's great. That's great. You know what? I have some champagne on ice, and the hot tub is warming up. Oh, you forgot your bathing suit? Oh, you know what? You don't even need it. <laughs> Marcus, uh, on second thought, maybe, maybe we should stick around. Yeah, you know, I'm in the mood for a little soak myself. And I didn't bring my bathing suit either. Uh, Jay, I don't know what you just did there, but, um, God bless you. <laughs> Hey, Sherry, any sign of Blair? Jay, I'm looking for my husband. <laughs> Did you know that there are 12 erogenous zones below the knee? I did not know that. <laughs> okay, you two. I want you both to know neither of you to touch this fondue until you wash your hands. <laughs> oh, that must be Gordon. Oh, Tabitha! Good doggy. Oh, there's a glimmer of hope. Yes, I might still have my job. You see, Sherry, everything worked out for her? Jay, what about my Gordon? Why can't you just be happy for me? Cold. So very cold. Oh. I need the fire. Honey, you oh, must be her. freezing half to death. Oh. Oh. It was horrible, Jay. I found Tabitha deep in the woods. Her paw caught in a trap. I pried it open, bandaged her wound with my scarf. Then she hobbled away, frightened. I'm sorry, Jay. Who's that? <laughs> Tabitha Gordon. Uh, what the hell did I give mouth to mouth to? Blair, it's been a while. So, uh, what do you think of my little winter getaway? Jay, when we last went out, weren't you tragically poor? <laughs> yeah, but luckily my rich uncle died. Tragically. Well, let's drink to that, huh? <laughs> mm. Mm, wine always tastes best out of Baccarat Crystal, huh? <laughs> Woman, what you do that for? Just being rich. Aren't you gonna throw yours in? Why have all the fun in one night? Well, how about we toss this one in after breakfast? <laughs> Where's Marcus and Melissa? You don't think they went to the bedroom, do you? No. Why do you care? No reason. Come on, let's go make love. Ooh. Loudly. And don't be shy either. Oh. Really vocalize. Yes. Go patty the bell mm -hmm. on me. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey. Where were you? Cleaning up fire damage. You know that stainless steel sink? Not stainless. <laughs> Put some shoulder into it. Chop, chop. Hey, 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 hey. Show a little gratitude. She's been working her sensuous fingers to the bone for you. Which is exactly the reason we're going to take a nice little dip in the jacuzzi. Hey, the jacuzzi is off limits to both of you, all right? So's the study, the closet, any place with a door. You gotta get that jealousy thing under control. You think I'm jealous? 
I have no idea where you get that. Really? How about taking a look over your shoulder at that hottie you imported to help push Melissa's buttons? <laughs> That's right, Jay. We're on to you. Wait. I'm just a tool to make her jealous? Oh, you are a pig, Jay Frazier. Oh, no, not Dave! No! <laughs> oh. Ooh. That's unbelievable. The man invites two women and he's sleeping alone. Just lay off him. Don't defend me, Melissa, okay? Well, wait. Go ahead. Hey, we don't have time for this. I'm feeling sexy. Let's go make love. <laughs> Marcus, will you get over yourself? What? I, I was just kidding. I was just my charming sense of humor. Melissa! <laughs> At least you got snubbed. They just starting to look up. <laughs> Jay, we're having trouble turning off the water in the hot tub. Yeah. Just turn it off. Yeah, we tried that. Is there, like, some sort of trick or something? <laughs> By comparison, a caved-in ceiling makes the kitchen fire look pretty good. If your butt even touches my butt, man. Hey, I'm not happy about this situation either, okay? Thanks for helping me out with that water damage. You're pretty handy with a mop. That information doesn't leave this bed. The fact that we're in this bed doesn't leave this bed. Agreed. Now let's just get some shut-eye and put this nightmare behind us. Why are you trying to rush me off to sleep? Afraid I'm gonna sneak across the hall and hook up with Melissa? No, it's because I don't want to talk to you, okay? Leg, leg, leg. Sorry. What were you thinking anyway? Parading a beautiful woman around in front of your ex to make her jealous. <laughs> and it was a bad idea, huh? Yes, for you it was terrible. For me, it would have been gold. <laughs> leg, that's your leg, man. All right. All right. <sighs> Look, Marcus, I, I know I can't tell you and Melissa who to date, but just do me a favor and... Try and play it cool until you get back home at least, all right? And I'm asking you that as your... your bedmate. <laughs> all right, sure, I can do that, as long as you move your leg. <laughs> all right, is that enough room for you? Leg, 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 leg. That's my leg. Marcus, don't. Hey, 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 hey. I thought we agreed there would be none of... Oh, uh, Jay, this is, this is not what you think. <laughs> it's, it's not? not? <laughs> well, of course not. I was just simply getting ready to do the do with Blair. <laughs> well, that demonstrates a lot of respect for me, Marcus. Clearly, you only went out with me to make Jay jealous. Melissa. Oh. That is truly the mark of a desperate human being. The games people play. Louise, you're a fine one to talk about games. Marcus told me everything. You're just the house sitter. Oh, really? And you're gonna believe Marcus over me? He should know. He owns this place. <laughs> oh, if that's not just the icing on the cake. What was that I just said? Oh. That's probably that damn egg of yours. I moved it so it wouldn't get damaged during all the sexual fireworks. Blair, you didn't even get to see the fireworks. You know, being broken up is a lot more work than being together. Especially when we care about each other. Okay, so here's the plan. I am free to date any woman I want, mm -hmm. and you are free to date ugly men. You know, I always enjoy your sense of humor. No, I was not joking. <laughs> Frazier. Mr. Barris, I thought you weren't due back until tomorrow. Change of plans. What the hell happened here? <laughs> well, who the hell are you? Mr. Hamels, who are you? I own this place. In that case, we're, we're the Sternbergs. <laughs> Mr. Barris, just, just give me a moment to explain. Ah, don't sweat it, Frazier. This place is going to my ex-wife in the divorce settlement. It's her headache now. 
<laughs> I'll tell you the truth, sir, I never liked the woman. Yeah, now where's that egg of hers? I want to smash it all to hell. Uh, you know what? I uh, cleverly anticipated that. Ah, excellent work, Frazier. Yep. I've got a job in mind for you in New York. You mean the corporate headquarters? Ah, don't be silly. My wife's penthouse apartment overlooking Central Park. I want it destroyed. Hey, whatever it takes. Can I bring the Sternbergs? 